Object, paragraph, character, table, and cell styles are all loaded in the same way as master pages. If you have a document saved to your computer that contains a style you wish to use, you can load it into another InDesign document. The steps that you'll follow to load styles are to open the styles panel of your choosing, the object, paragraph, character, etc. styles panel. Launch the option flyout menu from the top right hand corner of the panel, scroll down and choose load styles. Then find the saved InDesign file on your computer that contains the style or styles you wish to load, select the file, and then choose open. This will launch the load styles dialog box. You can then choose which styles you want to load and which styles you do not want to load. So note, unlike loading master pages, InDesign users have flexibility in loading styles via the load styles dialog box. Simply choose the ones you wish to load and deselect the ones that you don't. Let's jump over to InDesign and I'll show you how these three um, processes that we already know how to use can be expanded upon by loading them into additional documents. So I have my Gutenberg project document here and it's uh, been threaded, it's been loaded to all the pages like we showed in the previous video. But now I've been given instructions to use a specific formatting for the text. I've been given a master page that I have to use on the top of all my pages and I've been given a list of colors that I need to use for the project. We can load the swatches into our panel by selecting the option Fly Out menu on the swatches panel and choosing load swatches. Now if this is something that I've been told I can only use these colors, I would probably go ahead and delete all the other colors from the panel first and then load the swatches so that I don't accidentally use the wrong color. To load them, hit the option Fly Out menu, choose load swatches, find wherever you have saved your supplied file. I saved it on my desktop and then select open. I've been given these colors and these are the only colors that I can use in my project. Next, I've been told that I need to use a master page on every page of my document and I've been supplied that as an InDesign file. You can load that via the pages panel let's get rid of the swatches since we're not using that by hitting the option fly out menu going down to master pages and then choosing to load the master page so let me move this over here so you can see it all threaded so hit the option fly out menu choose master pages and then load master pages once you have this you can go through your InDesign uh, your computer and find the InDesign file that contains the master pages that you've been given and you can select to open now, the file that I've been given has a master page that must be named Master A since that's the only master page that exists in this document. And so I'm going to choose to replace the master pages because I know I'm not using mine. If I was using some of mine, I would never do that. I would rename it and then delete the ones I don't need. So I'm going to replace the master page. And you can see that when we go to Master A, the master page is just a really basic yellow fade at the top of the of the page, but it overrode Master A on my document. And since Master A is applied to every page in the document by default, every page will now have an ugly yellow fade at the top of it. Last, um, if I was also given instructions that my book must be formatted in a very specific way, I can load styles to format the book. I'm not going to show you character object um, cell, table, all the different types of styles. I'm just going to show you how to load one paragraph style, but the process is the same for all. So once I have my my book and I need to format it, if I know that I have been given the correct style, I can load it by hitting the option fly out menu. Let's move it over here. Hit the option fly out menu and then scroll down until you see the option that says load paragraph styles. From here, you need to find the InDesign file that's been given to you that has the style that you're supposed to use, and then select Open. What's different about loading a style versus a master page is I get some choice. I can see every style that's in the document, and the document I'm getting, it only has two styles. It has the basic style, and it has body copy, and body copy is what I've been given to use. So I'm going to uncheck basic paragraph and just load body copy and select OK. Now, nothing really happened. It's kind of like loading a swatch. I have the swatch, I have the style, but until I use the swatch, it doesn't really mean anything. And so what I'll need to do is select all of my text. So I'm going to do Command A to select all, and then click Body Copy to apply that style to everywhere I've used in my document. And you can see that I've been given this horrible typeface and horrible color to use. But if that's the instruction that I'm given, I have to follow that, right? 
you can then, if you, let's say you fix this, let's say that you make it beautiful and you use black type for a book, creates the idea, and you use a serif typeface, um, you could then send your file back to the original person and say, hey, what do you think about the changes? Do you want to implement this new style everywhere in the entire book uh, or everywhere in the entire catalog? Maybe you're formatting 100 books as a big project. And then they can take your style and load it back into their document. Keep that in mind, especially for your big book project. You're going to have to make multiple chapters and my instructions will say make sure that chapter one is 100% perfect before you move on to chapters two and three because if you don't, you're going to have to load styles. So you're going to have to say, oh, I made this change to chapter one and I've decided that I want nine point typeface instead of ten. You do not want to make the edits in a hundred different chapters. What you'll do is you'll load the new style and then you'll override the one that already exists. So if you have two body copies, you'll delete your body copy and then tell it that everywhere you used your body copy, replace it with the new body copy setting.